What's up to all those alone in the zone? Some say my vision is heroism. John Eli Lopez back once again on a mission to get you one step closer to being the king or the queen of the pencil. And today I'll be showing you how to take real life characters and turn them into your own version of comic book looking heroes. If you'd like to follow along, all you would need is some Marcus color pencils, paper, and a good reference photo. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, and the character I'm doing today is the Arrow. And that, uh, you know, show is not on anymore on the CW, but, you know, you catch it in reruns. And I'm using a real reference photo of Stephen Amell, the guy who played the Arrow on the CW. I just got the overall shape. I started with the action line, got my placement of my head, and I went straight to the marker after I got those pieces down pat. I said, I'm not playing any games. I'm just, I'm not going to go too detailed with the pencil drawing. I'm going to just go straight to the marker. And I wanted a thicker outline and the thinner lines on the inside. That's why I like the double-sided Sharpie. And I wanted to show you guys the creative process. This first one I did, I really didn't like the way it was coming out. So I just uh, said, I'm going to start over. And that's what I did. Swipe that one, rip that page out the sketchbook, and start over. And there I go, getting that action line in. And this time around, I decided I'm going to add a little more detail before I go straight to the marker, right? Because uh, there were some things missing when I went to the marker that I didn't have in. And, you know, I just didn't like the way it was all coming out. So before I went too far into it, I said, let me just start over, period. All right? And of course, I could have started the video from this one, but I really wanted you guys to see that, you know, it does not go perfect all the time, right? So this one, I got more of the features in uh, before I went to the uh, the uh, marker, right? So I was a little more confident with what I had laid down on the paper. And I decided that, you know, now that was my initial thought. Okay. And this was one thing I wanted to show you guys too was I wasn't too sure about the mask. So I had to come back in and draw it with the pencil. And the bottom line there, I first did it, but then I, I thought that was too low for the mask. So that's, and I had to leave it there. And I'm showing you that's going to turn into a happy mistake. So you keep your mistakes. If it does not uh, ruin the entire piece, keep it. And find a way to just work around it. So now we're just getting the bows in here. And I definitely like the layout of this one much better than the first one. And I'm getting the little uh, gadgets and little uh, almost like rounds that he had on his uh, strapped over his uh, shoulders. And, um, you know, the main concept is, uh, well, the main piece was that face and getting that down and the, sh the angle of his head and all that. And then now coming with the details. And once I'm happy with that, I decided I'm just going straight to the color, right? So I was a little more confident here with my pencil drawing. And his um, suit is green, but you know, in the reflective light, the shadow areas, of course, are darker greens. So this is like a, a playing around process here. You just trying to make sure you get the majority of the dark areas in. And this type of thing is really good to experiment, you know. 
because this is my first time doing the arrow. Didn't know how this particular technique would come out with markers and color pencils. You know, but uh, you want to try different things. So now we're getting the different um, greens in because the quells of the bow is a lighter green. I hope I said that correct. And the tips of the darker. So, you know, this entire suit here, I'm going to have about three different, uh, three, four different greens in here. So like uh, three different uh, greens with the markers and then another two, three with the color pencils. And I decided instead of going all the way down to add a drip effect. So, um, I did it here first, and then I said, if I don't like it, I would just continue with the body. But I kind of like the drip there, and I said, I'm going to keep that, and that's going to be the theme of this piece. It's going to um, drip down at the bottom. So, once I did that initial, I said, I'm sticking with that. It's getting the skin tone in. The little hints of uh, reddish pink throughout the cheeks and lips and get the eyes in. And as you see there, that line that I first did for the mask, that turns in now to the shadow line, the darker shadow. So that line is now gone. And I knew I was that was my plan to just create a shadow around it. I just didn't know how it would come out. But um, once I did it, I liked it. And you know, I'm doing uh, the Stefan Amell version. So his uh, beard is not like the comic book, uh, too thick. You know, and the new comic books kind of follow the Stephen Amell vibe. So. And all the pieces are starting to come together now. You see, once I added the shadow under the hoodie there, now I'm just coming with that black all over. We go darken that area up. Thought it was a little too much white showing through there. And this was kind of like a Kevlar piece here. So that was a different uh, material than the suit. That black uh, piece by the shoulder there. So we had to give that like a different effect. You know, this is uh, the fun part where you just add in all the final touches. Getting the different green there from the color pencil and trying to fade the darks and the greens into... It was kind of just melding everything into one. And you definitely don't want to get too caught up on one area because then you'd uh, miss opportunity to put the green. And remember, you do not want to take any drawings or any uh, digital references of uh, the characters. You want to take a real character that uh, you'd like to draw. All right? And you're going to turn them into your own style. And that's how you'll be able to build your own style. So, I'm sure if you Google any pictures of that, you will see this photo. It's been around for a while. And here we come now, just getting the shadows and separating everything. And you'd be really surprised. Uh, the mass, the little highlights going. So now it's, you know, as said before is everything else now is needed to be placed so you know separating the shells there everything is just coming to life once you start adding the blacks in there now get that arm the darker arm get the drips going and you know times when you add in every other piece you realize something's missing or it might need a little more of one tone. Like a little shadow under the eyelids there. Just add a little realism to those eyes. 
and more of a shadow on the left side of his face. Where his nose sticks out, there's a little highlight area. And that shadow under the hoodie adds to the realism. And just spreading that green out. Just spreading that out. Some highlights with the white. And of course the white color pencil is not going to be as bright as the, the pieces that I left white. And there you have it folks. We are done. I hope you guys got some value from this video. If you did, shoot an arrow at that subscribe button. Hit the like. Leave a comment. Any feedback is appreciated. So until next time, John Eli Lopez signing out. Y'all be good and be safe.